doing, boys? Oh, hey. Hey, you. Welcome home. Leah here, Larry, Denver, Doers Nation, and I thought that I would just bring you in my home this morning and show you what it looks like to be me. One cup of coffee down, let's get started. Oh, do you babies want to go outside? We do have to start a fire. It's a little chilly in here. The fire went out overnight. So, let's get that going. Fire carries so many lessons. One of the greatest lessons I've learned is that you can't build anew on old debris. You must clean up what was left behind in order to move forward into a new creation. Otherwise, all of the old, it suffocates anything new that you want to bring into your life. My recommendation is clean up after yourself. Make sure that before you build anew, you clean up what was left behind from your past. Otherwise, it'll suffocate the new right out of the present. All right, let's take the trash out. Oh, and the babies definitely want to go out. House slippers off, muck boots on. Let's venture out into the Arctic wilderness that Pathways to Peace has become. I know that this lifestyle isn't for everybody, you know, tending to a fire, etc. But wait till we step outside and you'll see how absolutely gorgeous it is out there right now. Every bit of hard work that goes into maintaining a property like this is so worth it because... Hey, what's up, Lou? What's up, Lou? Well, I had to leave you hanging for a little bit. We have work that needs to be done and then we will get to taking in this absolutely gorgeous view that is like literally right behind me right now. But wait, let's build a fire first. Time to collect some firewood. I don't know about you, but I love the whole process of tending to a fire. There is just some peace in it. And, and I even mean running the chainsaw and cutting the logs and running the splitter and splitting all the wood and then collecting it. There is just something special about being able to provide yourself with your own warmth. Is it just me or am I not alone in that? I've often found that in life, the things that take just a little bit of care and extra attention are the things that bring us the most purpose and validation in life. And that's a whole lot of what Doers Nation is about is encouraging others to get out there and find out what they are passionate about. And if I can be an outlet for that, whoo-hoo. I have had a lot of people that have approached me and said, I just love what you're doing. And my response to them is, let's do it together. Oh, it's so good. I believe in you. I know that you can set out to accomplish whatever it is that you want to accomplish, one step at a time. Remember when I said, because, yeah, because this. This is definitely one of my favorite spots on the property. 
I'm not sure if you can see this, but it's pretty much just two trees fused together and a concrete pad on top of it. Yeah, kind of neat. Look at this. It's a chilly day here at Pathways to Peace. Just a girl in a cabin, in the woods, in the winter time. This is what it looks like, folks, to build a life of your dreams. Who's coming to visit? Oh, is that my Denver? Is that my baby? Hi. Hello, baby boy. Oh, Denver is naked. He gets very cold very quickly. Oh, what? Here's our big guy with a full-time winter jacket. Oh, he's just a bear bears. What's up, Bubba? He loves the snow. You should see him gallivant in the snow. It is pretty much priceless. Where are we at, baby? Baby. Do you see all the critter tracks? I need to seriously set up time lapse on my GoPro just all over the property. I will catch so much good footage. That's something that you can look forward to because it's happening. Well, what are you doing? Larry, come get me. Mom, why do you get so slippery overnight? Oh, you look I, very cautious. You know, I'm really clumsy and stuff. I'm just trying not to fall. And my paws are really furry. So, give me a second. Oh, hello. Hey, Dennis. Oh, hello, babies. Hello, babies. You want to start a fire? You want to start a fire? Let's start a fire. It's, it's very cold out here, Mom. Oh, this paws cold. Let's go. Come on, Bubba. Oh, I'm so excited. Please get me in here and out of this cold. Come on, Bubbles. Let's put a fire. And muck boots off. Hell slippers on. Yeah, you like those slippers, don't you? Me too. Aren't they dope? Yep, I think so. Anyway, so funny thing about these slippers is I actually just recently left the house in these slippers to go line dancing without realizing it. And let's just say I turned around and grabbed my cowboy boots, but these slippers, wonderful. I got them at Cabela's, link in the description. You're welcome. For those of you who have been keeping up on this adventure I call life, uh, my house was actually in a flood this year. So all of the wood and all of the kindling that I had collected throughout the year floated down the Swatera Creek. And let's just say I cut and split all of the wood for this winter in a few days when I got back from my cross country trip. And all of the kindling um, that I had collected in the short time in fall that's gone so I am working off of the logs that I bring in so you know you can pull as many of the loose strands as possible off of the logs that you do bring in and the rest of it I just use a small axe and sledgehammer and I split the rest of my kindling this is a bit of a chore but the sick part of me kind of likes it, and it keeps me in decent shape. Yeah. 
I'm not sure that a lumberjack would tell you to split kindling like this, but it's what I found works, so this is what I do. I hope you're not judging me over there, sir. I'm just being silly. I've come to know that not everybody knows how to build a fire. And you know what? That's okay, because at some point I didn't know how to build a fire either. And although building a fire isn't that difficult, there are some things that you can do that make your life a whole lot easier. So here's a couple tips for you. As you can see, I used a little bit of newspaper. Newspaper catches super easy, but you don't wanna ball it up really tight. Fire likes air, so ball it up loosely. I did put a little bit of cardboard down. Cardboard takes a little bit longer to light, so it's gonna last a little bit longer than the newspaper. And then all of those little splitter pieces of wood that I just cut up, I kind of shelter them around these things. So the fire can catch in stages. I really think that that is what makes a good fire. You have something to catch at all stages of it. Start little, then get a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. So you have a solid foundation for the big logs that you can put on it later. Of course, that's a very brief tutorial on how to build a fire here in the house with these common household items. But we will be back out in the woods very soon and I can show you then how to build a bit more of a primitive fire than what you're seeing here. time I think that we will make do with the fire here at Pathways to Peace. It is pretty darn nice if I must say so myself. Ugh. I could just stare at fire all day. It's so beautiful. You know building anything successful in life is kind of like building a fire. You know, it starts with these really small kind of leaps of faith, these small action steps forward. And those steps lead to some greater steps within the process. Meanwhile, you do experience setbacks and you have to keep building and building. But it's so worth the small efforts put in day in and day out. Just like the little pieces of kindling stacked in and around all the rest over and over until you finally get to the place where you can stick a log on there and it lasts and it provides you with the warmth that you've been looking for. You know, it's that most people don't get past those small little steps or any bits of failure. But the failure is stepping stones to your success. Ask any successful person. So let's build a fire in our hearts together today and get out there and be doers. Uh, but first, how about a shake? I will admit, this is something that I start my day with every day. You even saw me drinking these on my cross country trip. I have found Shakeology to be such a solid foundation of nutrition to start my day off right. And I throw a little bit of collagen in there. Yum. You know, a little boost for the hair, skin, and nails. I recommend it. In the description, I will put a link for you. Enjoy. Num num. See, 
If you've ever emailed me, you know that my logo says success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out. And that is so true. There are certain things that I include in my morning routine day in and day out. And my day just doesn't feel the same without them. And some of these things may seem like work, but if you set your day on a solid foundation, it's good to go the rest of the day. These are some of the things that I would love to show you along the way. But first, let's enjoy some of the day. And I have some views to show you, remember? Boots back on. Don't you worry, I didn't forget my coffee. often forget to just be still. Just be still for a second. God wants us to be human beings. And then let's get to doing. But first, be still. Take it in. Enjoy it. The sun is still coming up. And I'm going to enjoy some time with the boys, taking in this beautiful scenery with you, all of my lovely friends on the interweb. I mean, I'm so happy to share this with you. I hope that you're enjoying it as much as I am. You know what I love so much about the snow? Doesn't it seem like it just quiets everything down? I mean... I think so. Mine is hearing the crackling of the ice coming down the creek. Oh, oh my goodness. It is just so peaceful out here. You know, I think that this is what God wants for us to truly embrace what's around us, what was so freely created for us. We don't need all of this fancy stuff to be happy when there is so much beauty around us. I think so many of us are caught up on our devices that we forget to just look outside at what we are surrounded by. So in case your surroundings aren't quite as beautiful as mine, I would love to share mine with you. Oh and some puppy loves too, because that's just the best. Some more scenery in case that first view wasn't enough for you. Behind the scenes, Leah, Doers Nation. Dun, 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 dun. Hello everybody, Leah here, Doers Nation. And I thought we might just talk a little bit today by the fire with the pups and I might be able to help you along a journey of discovery and you know just you know building the life of your dreams why not yeah I'm pretty much a dork but I know it and that's something that I want to show people is just be you see most of our society is spending the majority of their time impersonating somebody else. If you get in touch with your creator, he can show you exactly who you're intended to be. And maybe some of that confusion can end for you and you will have found your place. I'm excited for you because I just know the reality of it and it is wonderful. 
I thought now would be a wonderful opportunity to share a prayer that I wrote the other day. And I will include this in the description in case you want to repeat this on a daily basis to help build God's will in your life as well. Here it is. Gracious God, I put myself before you with waiting heart and expectant desire. Open my eyes that I may see your promises fulfilled. Open my ears that I may hear your word whispered to my deepest being. Lord, may all that I have seen of you and all that I have heard from you in flesh itself in me. Enlighten my heart, Lord. Give me unwavering faith, sure hope, and perfect love. Send me from this place, O God, to be used as an instrument to your kingdom. In Jesus' name, amen. See, I show you this because it all starts with a dream. And then, well, here's my notebook since I started my YouTube channel. And it started with Bible verses because I want the foundation of all of this to be on God. It was God who put it on my heart to start a YouTube channel. I am not an internet person, and I spend a whole lot of time on the computer now. These are lists upon lists of things that I need to get done in order to build a business, maintain the house, build the platform for my YouTube channel. It takes a whole lot of work. And then lots of so little small efforts repeated day in and day out, um, people for my workshops, etc. <sighs> but these lists have been completed and things have been checked off and a business has been built. A YouTube channel has been built. And with your help, we can grow. We can grow both of these things and make an impact <sighs> powered by God. Whoop, whoop. That's going to be some good stuff. I know it. And I think you know it too. So let's get to it. And I don't want you to think that I'm being selfish. I'm not just talking about myself over here. I want to encourage you to build the life of your dreams. What do you want your life to look like? Write it down. Please, I mean, seriously, stop my YouTube video and write it down. What are the things that you want to see in your life? This whole thing is meant to inspire others to reach for what they deserve, to see what they want. Don't just go through the motions of life. Think about it. Think about it. Be still enough to stop, take a second to think about what you want your life to look like. Did you stop and do it yet? Okay, great. Now grab a pen and let's write it down. On this list, also write down what you can do today to get closer to those goals. If you write things down on paper, you will be amazed how it encourages you to put it into action. There is incredible satisfaction in checking something off a list. So that wonderful theory of I'm not working is just not the case. It takes much more to write your own paycheck than it does to go and collect some from somebody else. But is it worth it? Yes, it is worth it. Does it take risk? Yes, it does. And it takes an abundance of faith. So every day I must put God first and my tasks second. And that way God is walking through it with me all day long every day and I'm on the right path so what do you want to accomplish today what do you want your life to look like today decide today what you want it to look like
put a plan in place and then the action steps forward to create the life of your dreams. You can do it. If I can, I know you can. And that's what I wanna show all of you. It just takes a certain mindset and living in God's will and having the faith necessary to take the next step forward, which I know you can do. Walk in faith. Oh, and uh, don't forget to eat your Wheaties. They make you strong. Mmm. Yay, I cannot wait to see all of our dreams materialize over time. Don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.